How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another Mezcal review. Today I'm going to be re-reviewing a couple Mezcals that I reviewed in the uh, beginning of December. It's now uh, right around January. I don't know when it's this is going to come out, but um, yeah, pretty cool. I've been sipping on these guys over the last month with uh, friends and family and um, been really enjoying them. And um, I got a little bit left of each bottle and uh, figured I'd do a re-review, a uh, quick recap. Um, really enjoyed both of them. Uh, they're from uh, Nuestra Soledad out there in Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, beautiful state uh, out there in southern Mexico, right by Chiapas. Really cool. Awesome food, great people. Check it out sometime if you can. And um, yeah. I'm going to be looking at two mezcals today from Nuestra Soledad, um, including their Santiago Matatlan. As you can see, just a little bit left in there. <laughs> um, and their Le Chigui Mietwatlan. Mietwatlan. Yeah, still having uh, difficulties pronouncing Spanish, especially some of those more Zapotec words are a little um, difficult for me. But uh, yeah, uh, this is produced by Casa Cortez, which uh, I think they um, have a restaurant or two in uh, uh, Oaxaca, maybe a tasting, something like that. But they like source different uh, mezcaleros and stuff like that. and. Uh, distribute their mezcals and really cool stuff. So both of these are 100% Espadine uh, mezcals, uh, exception being this guy here, um, which is 100% Espadine, but it's uh, grown within a field where there's also Tobala, Coyote, and um, I believe Tepestate. Um, I might be wrong, maybe Tobasish, don't know exactly. Um, should have looked it up before the review started, but um, yeah, I'm going to get into this one first. Um, and then we got this guy here, which I really, really enjoyed. Me and my brother had some, a uh, little sip of it, and we couldn't believe how crazy this uh, uh, Mezcal was. But um, yeah, going to get into this guy first right away. It's coming in at 45% alcohol by volume. Um, it's... Produced by Master Distiller Gregorio Martinez Harquin. I believe that's how you pronounce that. It's bottle number nine or 396 out of 450. Um, produced in 2002. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And here's some more information if you want it. 45% alcohol, 90 proof. Um, pretty cool. Really like the labeling on these guys' mezcals. I have yet to try their Santa Ana del Rio. I believe that's the other one that's available to me. They have a few other ones from other areas of um, Oaxaca, but uh, these two and Santa Ana del Rio is available to me. Um, I'll have to pick that one up in the future sometime. But let's get into this one. Going into this one blind, um, well, not well, I've had it before, but uh, I haven't had it in a while or a week or two. So I uh, figured, um, don't look at my tasting notes. I totally forget what I, what I tasted in this one, um, but I remember really liking it. Um, from what I remember, uh, Gregorio Martinez Harquin. He is part of the collective of El Gorio, which makes some amazing mezcals. I think I've had a couple of his mezcals in the past, and I, from what I remember, really enjoyed them. But yeah, let's get into this one. It is a crystal clear beverage, as you would expect a Hoven uh, mezcal to be. Have I been saying Sotol? I don't know if I have. But yeah, Mezcal. Um, let's get a sniff on it. Wow. Uh, right away. 
I'm getting cheese, some sort of cheese, like a cream cheese and peanuts, like peanut shells instantly. Wow, I was not getting that last time, I know that. Um, just from the start of the bottle, when I opened it, gave it a review till now that it's almost done, uh, the aromas really changed. Um, I find it, also it's been sitting out for a little bit. Um, I've let it aerate a little bit. But wow, yeah. Maybe some uh, chocolate cocoa. Um, really cool. There's maybe a hint of sourdough in there. I, I've been getting lots of sourdough in Mezcal lately. Uh, this fermented uh, baking kind of note, something like that. Uh, it's really cool. I want to say banana. Yep. Or is that banana? Hmm. Almost like circus peanuts. Like the banana candies in the shape of peanuts like that. Something like that. That's a really unique smell in Mezcal. Um, lots of aromas I don't remember picking up at all. Wow. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Salute, everybody. Ooh. Wow. First, I gotta say, big, initially, not a lot of alcohol, but size of the tongue, and then the chest, whew, tons of alcohol. Warmed up instantly. Wow. But um, that initial sip. Yeah, vanilla. Maybe a hint of cinnamon in there. It's earthy. Very earthy. Ashy. Um minerality to it it's a dry mezcal for sure the finish is nice and dry um which i really enjoy in mezcal some people like the more sweeter ones i tend to go for the drier mezcals at least what i perceive is dry um, it can be very different to each person um one second Got a little notification. Uh, nothing important. Um, but yeah, really, really delicious. Um, yeah, that's great. Some sort of pepperiness, like freshly cracked black pepper, like toasted, freshly cracked black pepper. Um, yeah, this would go phenomenal with like a steak or if you were to do like a, a mole negra over beef, like that's what I would want with this. Um, I'm not a big chicken guy, so I, I like to make a mole negra with beef or pork or something like that. But um, yeah, that's my Mennonite blood, I guess, is uh, calls for lots of red meat. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Uh, this would go really well with uh, chocolate souffles, like any sort of uh, light chocolate desserts. This would be phenomenal with that. Or like a chocolate pairing, something like that. Chocolate and oranges like they do in Oaxaca. Uh, some sal de gasano. It does have that minerality, um, that saltiness, solidity. Um, really cool. Really cool mezcal. So, gonna move on to the uh, La Chigui Mirtotlan, which is created by Pedro Vesquez, bottle number 305 out of 600, um, produced in 2020. So, it has been sitting in the bottle for 
at least two years, maybe even closer to three, um, as it is down in there's 2023 time of recording. But uh, yeah, it's 48 percent alcohol by volume so damn near 50 percent 96 proof uh, again 100 percent mega aspidine and um yeah i've had quite a few of pedro's mezcals um i haven't met the guy yet i've never been to the chigui but i would like to go sometime um but uh from my what i remember uh i forget which ones i had i think i had his uh el Hogorio Espadine, maybe, or Tepeshtate, one of those. I forget which one is his. Maybe both, but both phenomenal. Um, I've had a couple of his Todos Santos um, releases, and I believe he does stuff for Dishbe and uh, another really highly regarded um, mez Mezcal brand out there. Um, I haven't had any. I think they just came came to Canada. A little pricey, but I'll have to check them out. Um, but, yeah, I remember lo loving all of this guy's mezcals that I've tried. Um, I went through his list of mezcals he's got on uh, mezcalreviews.com. Uh, and I was like, I've had quite a few of these. These are really good mezcals, so... Reminds me, or, uh, what's the word? I forget. But, uh, not reminds. Yeah. But, yeah. I love his mezcals, anyhow. So, uh, really enjoyed this one last time I had it. Uh, every time I've had it. Uh, uh, as you can see, this bottle is down near empty as well. I'll get a bit more in the glass here. I like to let a little bit like half the glass sit out and then pour like half fresh, you know, like that, if that makes sense, into the little copitas. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Aroma wise, again, just like last time, grape soda. Grape soda, I'm getting tons of white wine, uh, citrus, some sort of tropical fruit. Uh, don't know exactly what kind, but it just re reminds me of, <coughs> excuse me, wow. All right. Um, reminds me of, yeah, grape soda, tropical fruit. There's a slight charred green spicy pepper. I don't know exactly what. Uh, Poblano, Serrano, something like that. Um, really cool. So, yeah, it's a wild smelling mezcal. Uh, nice funkiness. I don't know exactly what kind of cheese I'm getting out of it, but this is, it's got a nice level of funk in there. Um, not so much the sourdough as the last one but yeah more cheesy so i think i'm gonna like this one i know i like this one but yeah let's get get into it salute yeah damn I think I'm going to have to get another bottle. This is such an interesting mezcal. Um, I would love to make like a Pisco Sour, but have like this as a float on top. Um, I This could make so many interesting cocktails. Some sort of like uh, spritz of some sort with, uh, like, a sparkling white wine. Um, it's just really cool. Lots of great notes. Uh, orchard fruit notes, like pear, maybe peach in there. Um, yeah. 
the funkiness of it. What kind of funkiness am I getting? Hmm. It's similar to provolone. Something like that. The certain light Italian cheese, but it's got like the saltiness, this acidity, this really cool thing going on. It's a delicious mezcal. It's a wild mezcal. Um, yeah. That's really cool. Um, I'm gonna, I do have notes that I've been taking every time I have a sip of mezcal. I take down tasting notes and yeah, I've, uh, what I've been picking up over the last while of drinking these mezcals, um, Santa Caterina Mi, or Santiago Matatlan. This one I, last time I got licorice. Ashy smoke, got that this time. I didn't get the licorice. Cocoa and band-aids. Hmm. Let's see if I get that again. Uh maybe, but it's really rounded out since I've opened the bottle and now it's so low, it's really mellowed out. Uh, even in the last month, it's crazy uh, how much a bottle can change just in, like, a few weeks, you know. Um, all right. As for flavors, I was getting celery salt, chili salt, banana and roasted pineapple, sourdough, lots of smoke. Not as much smoke as I remember, actually. Um, roasted pina, earthiness. I, yeah, like I said, first time I've been picking up peanuts and stuff like that out of this mezcal is today. And um, I'm really digging that. So that's, that's another thing. If you keep sipping on a mezcal, you get more and more complex flavors. Um, Hmm. All right, yeah, today I'm getting more of the, yeah, chocolate, peanut kind of vibe from it for sure. Maybe a bit of that licorice, but I would say now more of like a almost aloe vera kind of, um, excuse me. Notifications, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, aloe vera, this slight numbness like that on the tongue. Um really cool uh maybe almost like a mint kind of numbness something like that but a really nice mezcal i forget what i gave it last time but sipping it again i like it more than i did last time i would that said i i don't know i don't know if i buy it again i remember it being quite pricey um and there's more mezcals I'd want to try before buying the bottle. Uh, this one, however, different story. I think I have to buy another bottle, at least sometime in the future, because this is wild. Uh, this one I like a lot, though. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend uh, for anyone who likes uh, more of the earthy um, chocolate kind of mezcals, definitely go for this one. Really nice and dry, beautiful mezcal. Um, on to this one again. Uh, let's see what I got for notes. Grape Crush, yep. Cherimoya. Cherimoya, Copalazu, Amazonian fruits, 100%. These fruits had like almost like uh, overripe pear, um, banana, uh yeah like a uh, underripe banana but also overripe banana um and like a su 
sweet pineapple, um, yeah, that kind of vibe to it. Said, uh, char, vanilla, New York cheesecake. Okay. Uh, it's, I think the more I'm tasting it, I'm developing more, yeah, provolone like that. Because the, uh, it is, there is sweetness to it, but it's less sweet than I remember. Um... Yeah, white wine, cava for sure, Spanish white, sparkling white wine, pear, yeah, pisco, grape jolly rancher, yeah, hell yeah, um, lime zest for sure, yeah, really beautiful, it's such a just different mezcal, if you want something just completely takes you for a left turn at least it took me for a left turn everyone's palate's different so um for me it's yeah white wine grape jolly ranchers lime zest uh really wild <laughs> so um yeah some tropical fruits and provolone cheese so there we go if that sounds great to you definitely pick it up um yeah awesome awesome mezcal so let me know what y'all think of Mezcal Artisanal Nuestra Soledad out there in Oaxaca. They got six different regions where that they uh, source Mezcal from. I believe six, maybe seven. And um, yeah, I've tried two, need to try the rest because it's pretty cool. Uh, really nice Mezcals. And um, yeah, if you've had them, had these, let me know what you thought of them. If you've had any of the others, let me know, know what you've thought of those. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, salute.